<laughs> well, meteorologist Jonathan Kegis is in for Troy, and we've been talking about rain all morning. We have, yeah, and it's back in the same areas we were pinpointing early this morning. A lot of us have been dry so far anyway. That's not been the case for the coves, especially in Volusia and Flagler counties. Again, you see all the water, all the moisture surging up from the Caribbean, surging up from the southern Atlantic as well. That's that deep tropical moisture that we're going to be in for the rest of today. And really over the next several days, it's going to keep our rain chances elevated. So again, if you have outdoor plans, Pinpoint Weather App is going to be a great way that you're going to have to, you can use as a good tool to duck inside for a little bit, wait till these storms pass, and then get back outside. Pearson, good afternoon. These are right on top of us heading into Astor, Deland. You're likely hearing the thunder from those nearby lightning strikes that have developed over the last five to ten minutes or so. Same deal in the Crescent City, a little bit lighter of rain over us right now. These are going to continue to work down Highway 40 here right into Astor, give another five to ten minutes, and we're going to have these uh, heavier downpours right on top of us. Same deal for Delion Springs. We are taking it on the chin with a lot of lightning and the really heavy rain. Nothing severe out there by any means, but certainly the rain is very, very hard. It's coming down in buckets out there. Plus, we have a lot of lightning. Holopa, good afternoon. We are starting to see a couple of downpours in Osceola County. No lightning associated with this, but the rain coming down at a pretty good clip. Pinpointing the rest of your afternoon, it's not going to be a total loss, and most of us, at least to this point, have not seen rain, especially the further inland you are, but that's going to change. Here we go, 2, 3 o'clock, those scattered storms that we have out there now are going to continue to grow in coverage and then grow in, uh, grow in coverage as they work their way from east to west. Here we go, 4 or 5 o'clock into the afternoon, evening, trying to get outside to maybe grill a couple of burgers or steaks. We're looking okay. You see the coverage increasing, though. So it's not going to be raining everywhere at that time, but certainly you may need to duck inside for a little bit. Storms are going to continue through the second half of the evening as well, so these have the opportunity to linger a little bit later as well. 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow, getting back to work, we're going to see more showers and thunderstorms sliding through central Florida through the afternoon and evening. Here's that gorgeous shot again. So again, it's a tale of where you are. We have the heavy rain and storms to our north in Brevard County, but there's a live look outside with our launch cameras. We have still some sunshine. Temperatures getting back into the mid to upper 80s. Temperatures inland pretty much uniform as we have a few extra clouds out there. 87 in Sanford. We're at 84 in Palm Coast. Good afternoon in Ocala. We are sitting tight at 86. Now here's a look at your pinpoint accurate forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Temperature is going to get back into the upper 80s and lower 90s, and then some of that rain cooled air coming in by dinner time. There we go at 8 o'clock or 5 o'clock, I should say, back to 83, 81 degrees by 6 with that 40% shot for those storms around dinner time. Now, the tropics, extremely busy. There are four systems we are watching. One of them has a name. The other one, Tropical Depression 18, closer to Africa. That is likely going to be Renee in the next several hours, likely before its day is over. There's Paulette, though, a 40 mile per hour tropical storm as of the 11 o'clock advisory. As of right now, things look okay. There is gonna be a short opportunity for this thing to continue to come west. That's gonna be 18. Watching these closely, of course, this time of the year. Tonight, we're back into the upper 70s. A few of those scattered storms continue. Now, here's a look at your pinpoint accurate seven-day forecast. Temperatures in the low 90s for the next seven days. Rain chance is staying elevated as we are tapped into the Caribbean in terms of that tropical moisture surging in, guys. Thanks, Jonathan.